This is student peer teach problem number one. As I walk you through this process, be prepared to watch your walk your classmates through this process. Most important step is gift. Given implied freebies talk it through. Given implied freebies talk it through. So the first you want to mark the given information on the diagram. Directly what is given. Might be wise to ask your classmates to do this. Don't just read them. Your job is to pester more than help to create dialogue more than dictate answers. So I'm going to show you. So you ask them to write this on the diagram. A, B is equal to C, D. That's given. So let's trace that. A, B, and C, D is congruent. We're going to hatch mark. That's a pair of sides, so we already have a pair of sides. Please encourage your classmates to either check stuff out or cross it out as they account for it. It's also given that A, B, and C, D are parallel. A, B, and C, D in parallel. When we do parallel lines, we use trace and stretch them out. So trace and stretch them out. Get them to trace and stretch them out. Parallel. With a transversal E, A. Remember, the transversal is what we call the stir stick. So we're going to trace and stretch that out. Keep that in mind. Trace and stretch that out. That's your stir stick. Took care of that. Also given that C is the midpoint of AE, so I'm going to trace AE and I'm going to circle C and I'm going to write the word midpoint. Okay, we're taking care of that. Ready? Now we're going to do imply. And then we check off for freebies. So imply and freebies kind of go together. There's no vertical angles here. There's no reflexive sides or reflexive angles, so there's no freebies, but there is implied information because of the midpoint. A to C and C to E are equal. That's because of the midpoint. That's another pair of sides. Let's bring that up here so it's easy to see how it's going to connect. Now, the parallel lines is going to give us a pair of angles here. And the angles are corresponding angles at A and C. One's in, one's out, same side. Those are corresponding angles. Those are congruent. So I have an A. You ask yourself, why is this triangle? You would say that the two different colors. Why is this triangle ABC congruent to this triangle CDE? And the reason is we know it's side angle side already. Side angle side. Get your student and get your classmates to see this before they even start. Because actually writing a proof, it's just mop up. It's not the actual thinking. So get them to talk it through the fact that they have a pair of sides, a pair of congruent angles, and another pair of sides. So make sure you do the talk through part. Remember that talk through is dialogue. So now let's walk through this proof. Again, do not dictate answers. Ask your classmates to respond to you. We know that A, B, and C, D are equal, and the reason why we know that it is given. We know A, B, and D, C are parallel with the transversal of E, A. We know that. Why did we get that information? It is given. We know C is the midpoint of A, E. Why do we know that? It is given. Get your classmates to read this, and you help them think this through. Now, what's implied by the given here? What's implied? So we know right now that already we know that A, B, and C, D are congruent. We're just going to repeat it. It's given, so we're just going to connect this straight down. That's going to be a pair of 
congruent sides. A little S for sides here. Now, because of the parallel lines, we got angle A congruent to angle C. Specifically, let's call this B, A, C, and D, C, E. These two angles here. So angle B, A, C is congruent to, get them to trace it, D, C, E. Remember, we have to watch our order here. We're going from the point in down, point in down. Why do we know that? Because those are, if we have parallel lines, then corresponding angles are congruent. That gets us a pair of angles. C is the midpoint of AE. That tells us that A to C is congruent to C to E. And the reason why midpoint creates congruent segments. Now look at what we have. That's a pair of sides. So we have sufficient information. We have a pair of sides. We have a pair of angles and another pair of sides. So now we can say that the triangles are therefore equal because of the shortcut right angle side. So angle triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDE. And the reason is side, angle, side. 